So we have just taken out the tonneau cover lock over here on the side and moved it over into the storage compartment. You still see the uh, clips open from the wiring harness here and here. We now move on to um, removing the main lift cylinder first before we put the tonneau cover back in, tonneau cover lock back in, because we want to get as much of the wiring harness down here out of the way as possible to make it easier to get the bottom mounting pin out for the main lift cylinder. In order to get the bottom pin out, uh, it needs to be slid towards the middle of the car. And for that, it's better to have the wiring harness out of the way. So, the to get the wiring harness out of the way, we need to remove this hold down bracket, which is the hold down bracket for the hard top in its stored position. This bracket is mounted with two 13 millimeter hex head bolts and um, these bolts are holding the bracket in oval holes which means the bracket is height adjustable so you want to figure out what height uh, was this uh, bracket mounted at before you loosened the bolts there's two ways to do that one way is to scratch mark along the top of the bracket on the uh, inside but it may be hard for you to see that when you reinstall the bracket the second way is to simply feel the bottom of the bracket here and see how much space there is between the bottom of the bracket and the sheet metal of the storage compartment. This may be the best way for you to gauge how to, uh, at what height to reinstall this bracket. You could just find a um, tool that matches the uh, tolerances in this car right now. So in this particular car, the distance happens to be a half an inch. We have already scratched the back of the bracket so we know at which height to remount it but we could have also slid a wrench of just the right side under here as our marker for the height of the bracket. So now we'll um, remove those bolts and um, then slide the wiring harness out of the way. Now next thing we take the wiring harness out of the brown clamp down here and move it over a little bit. Now we have room to uh, push the lower mounting pin uh, for the main lift cylinder. So we have a mock setup here that shows how the main lift cylinders are mounted on the bottom of the hardtop frame. The red iron simulates the bottom of the hardtop frame. We have a pin going through it and the cylinder. We have on the left side a small plastic uh, spacer, on the right side a longer plastic spacer. And of course the two uh, retaining clip or circlips. Uh, it is best to first remove the circlip on the outside and uh, that is in the car it is best done by uh, first pushing it apart and pushing forward uh, and uh, the uh, clip will come out. I'm not going to make it come out all the way so my setup doesn't fall apart right now. We go to the other side now on the inside to remove this clip it is easiest to push in a screwdriver from above and just twist and pull the clip out of the way and um, after both clips have been removed uh, we are basically grabbing the mounting pin with vice grips pulling it out and it will not pull out all the way, but it will pull far enough that in the end we can 
twist the cylinder out of here. Sometimes it will be hard to get the lower mounting pin for the main lift cylinder moved far enough towards the middle of the car because um, the sheet metal doesn't always come out the same in every SSR. Um, if you need to make a little bit more room for the pin to move, um, Top Hydraulics is shipping a collapsible tool with every full set of hydraulics. You can here see the bottom of the tool. It's basically several pipe sections uh, screwed together. We also have a spacer in front of the tool that um, allows you to put the tool in just the right spot to pound on it and thus um, form the metal such that it uh, makes room for the lower mounting pin to move out far enough without doing any structural damage to the car. So um, you see in the video here the spacer on the bottom and now as we move up we'll see how to align it on top. Basically um, we put the tool in to hit the spacer in the front and uh, slide down against the bottom of the hardtop frame and the upper alignment of the tool is to be two inches away from the edge of the tonneau cover and one inch uh, back from the forward corner. At this point we pound on top of the pipe uh, with a hammer and uh, we suggest that you have a protective cover in case anything slips you don't uh, damage the paint. Um, uh, few decent blows on this pipe will um, form the metal enough such that you can uh, remove the mounting pin on the bottom. To align the wave washers next to the clevers on top of the main lift cylinder, um, the easiest way to do that is with uh, the conical tool that Top Hydraulic ships with the full set of hydraulics. So we just push the tip of it through, wiggle the washers into place until everything is fully aligned. And we can now push the actual mounting pin through the soft top frame, hard top frame, and the clevis on top of the cylinder. Done.